Test, 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 test. One, two, three, I'm on. Oh, there we go, let's start it. Yeah, welcome to Norway. Oh, there we go, let's start it. Welcome to Norway. We're here at Echo November, Echo November. Just on the... Got 75 followers again. Didn't say anyone joined. Um, maybe someone was temporarily banned or something. <laughs> okay, we are here in um. Okay, I can't remember the name of the airport we're at. Um, we're just on the um, the north west coast of um Norway here. We are here at Gradison. Just on the coast, and we're just going to head out to these 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 islands and things. Like that. There's a lighthouse over here, which we're going to look at. And heading out a bunch, I'm guessing these are for some natural features because there's a lot of them over here. And we're going to land at Sad. I'm oh, not Sad. <laughs> um, Echo November, um, Lima, Kilo, um, Lechness. That's a bespoke, so I mean, not nice to have a little bit of an explore of it. Okay, so anyway, let's get going. Oh, we are on the standing still. We don't have a pushback thing, or but I'll close the ADC thing soon. Might as well, um. Oh. Okay, we'll just do a control A start. Where's my controller? Mouse is working now. I had a bit of frus mouse frustration starting up. I'm not a serious um, 2 2 that lot. And What's that? It's just a yoke control? Yeah, there it is. Look, we've got this nice little floral arrangement on the wings here. Okay, I'll just do a control E start. So let's have a look what we got here. We've got nav heading. So there's an autopilot boot here. How do you switch it on? That's, that's a, no, that's um, that's a heading. I could just hand fly it. I suppose it's nothing too serious. Engine, soft key, ident. There's another one there. Heading. Where would you turn it on? Hot air engine. Okay, the battery. Okay, um, we are live weather here. So all our controls, fuel mixtures. That's the comms. Oh, okay, here's heading. Uh, flight plan. FMS comm, expander. Uh, where would the autopilot be? Maybe the anything above? Is it come? I'm just going to have to hand fly this. No, this is a short trip. Unless it's all down here somewhere. Also, I just, I just wanted an altitude hold or, and a heading hold. I'm looking now for an alt button. An, a an ALT, basically. Let's see one. Let's have skipped past it. This is no oh, altitude select. So oh, yeah, this must be it. So is um is there a button to activate selected altitude? Adjust this. There's the heading. Uh, direct to. 
I don't really fight the series that much. Oh, the autopilot on. Yeah, we found it. Heading, nav, approach. Yeah, so there it is, heading. Uh, flight director. So I do have an autopilot on this if, if need be, but it's going to be a short one. I'm probably not going to use it. Right, are we with it? Oh, okay. I, was, yeah, I did see the lights, didn't I? I saw the light. <laughs> Traffic Lappy 5-4 is taxiing to runway 5. Runway 5. Um, we don't have pushback here. I'll uh, turn off the brake. Just a grass runway. This is daytime. Maybe. Okay, so I'll just do. Oh, there we go. That's auto pushback. So which one? Okay, five is between north and east. So I need to be facing in the northeast direction. Okay, that's enough pushback. Pushback. I can probably taxi myself out now. Nice tiny little cockpit here. I'm not use this plane a lot. Does that visor come down? No. Okay, that's okay. We're facing five now, so I should be going to the other end of the runway here. I don't have a taxi lights, do I? Uh, no, I'll put the land. Uh, uh, which one is it? Uh, I don't know. This can't really see the boundaries of the runway here. I think it's the one just it's just to the right of me there. Uh, the light the lighter bit of grass. I'll just taxi to the end of the runway here. Lower the flaps. Nice little screens in this thing. You got a GPS map and um you got like a Terran warning screen. All plants should have that little Terran warning screen. Especially ones that fly low to the ground. Probably don't need them in the airliners. Okay, um, I think we're good here. Okay, I've got PRI markers turned on, so we're not the. P oh, God, it's be hard to turn this thing. Like a little car. <laughs> Careful, there's some elevated areas around here. Okay, let's go, just go. Let's keep straight. Reminds me of a Volkswagen Beetle, this um, fuselage design. Or oh, the back of it, mainly. Well, I don't know if we're on the runway. Put the flaps all the way down. <laughs> We've got a landing light on here. There it is. It looks like it's coming out of its mouth. Mm. It looks like a firefly flew into its mouth. That's probably a reason I don't fly this plane too much, and I'm about to find out why. <laughs> anyway, let's head to the lighthouse. Strover Lighthouse. Strover? You know. It looks like we're heading to those rocky things as well. I think that's nice scenery. And then we're going to land. That'll be it for the stream because I don't really have a lot of time today. But I, I did have just enough time to do a short one. And um, I was going to do this in like a, um, a Skyhawk or something a bit slower. But with all that mouse issues and, um, and the assistance and... The assistance resetting again. Um, I had to go into something just a little bit quicker. Just a little bit. It's not live time though, but it's not a lot of daylight in this part of the world at this time of year. So it's like as earliest day as it can be. So we'll have plenty of light. Firebird. Real sort of. 
Yeah, I probably don't even need to put the autopilot on here. Look, I'm, I'm not even holding the stick here, and I'm climbing and maintaining a speed. It's not full throttle. <laughs> I guess I have to, if I have to leave the room or something, put the autopilot on. Look at that scenery. The world update, this last world update's been pretty good. Nice scenic areas of North Europe, Greenland, and Iceland. And the Faroes. Yeah, that's why I need the autopilot on, the nose is pitching up a bit. <laughs> I've got a magenta line on the screen too, so we don't need to put up the maps, the VO farm map. <laughs> So, um, yeah, um, had a pretty good stream yesterday, flying from uh, Hamburg to, what was it, Avalo in Finland. I, I like flying to these um, obscure, obscure, ex um, what do you call them, extreme airports, regional, far out airports. This is fun to discover it and see what the <laughs> area is like. And what else did I do, I did? I post stream yesterday? Um, I know cat's still, the cat's still, um, still blind, but he's, he seems to be a bit more peppy. He's up and about a bit more. But yeah, you know, the blindness thing is the worry. He he could have something. You know, he it might just be his eyes. It could just be something in his eyes, or it could be something else. It could be um an, in something internal. I mean, I'm hoping it's just a, I know, you know, blindness. You know, it sucks to lose your eyesight, though. But at least, at least you can still live a life. I, mean, I had um, someone asked me this once. Um, if you could lose, if you had, if one sense had to be taken away from you, your hearing or your eyesight, what would you take? It's a tough one, but I think I ultimately decided I'd rather have hearing. Yeah, you because know, um, you know, I mean, I knew a there was a deaf kid at my high school. We were friends, but then he, then he turned into this absolute bully. He, he got into it, this crowd. He wants to impress them. They just decided to just um, you know, bully me. And well, I had the last laugh because. He could never hear music the way I hear music. He could never hear, um, listen, like, hear some, a beautiful bird call, a child laughing. He has to go through his whole life listening to that muffled thing. I know it's not good to make fun of that sort of thing. It's a burden, but he was an absolute bellend, and I'm, still, and it sucks to be him. <laughs> Yeah, audio, I'll, I think I'll, yeah, in other words, I want audio stimulation than visual. I mean, um, I've seen enough. I've got my memories. <laughs> okay, we're coming to this lighthouse here. I'm trying to get a bit lower. Then we're heading to whatever that is. <laughs> I'm doing this, um... I hope you should join Sim Caesar's fly along tomorrow, and it's probably going to be in this part of the world because it's so new. And I saw um, his mod, Peter Mooney, scoping the place out the other day, so he's probably looking for things for the fly along. Oh, yeah, it's just a particular old. Looks like the lighthouse in the lighthouse. <laughs> yeah, that uh, Robert Eggers movie with Robert Pattinson and William Defoe. Pretty good film, I think. I actually really like that film. Bit creepy. Well, yeah, it has a great atmosphere on it. Very, very good spooky atmosphere. <laughs> One of those isolation horror films. Let's go for another. Let's go for another look at the White House before we move on. And this is morning, that's, the sun's probably rising, it's not setting, hopefully. 
And it's like something like 10 o'clock in the morning or something it's set to. <laughs> a little town over here too. I could go all. I'm like the opposite of um, Johnny Cash. I've not been everywhere. <laughs> I'm not, but I want to though. <laughs> Okay, I have to pause. Let's have, a, let's have a quick look around here. I'm probably going to go straight into the, the ground once I unpause it. So. There's a polite mouse at its house. I'm um, what a little tower is. <laughs> it reminds me of the, yeah, the. The Robert Eggers movie that came out a couple of years ago. He makes interesting films, that guy. Like The Vivich and The Norseman. The Norseman was his big Hollywood film. Probably not going to make any more now. He just wanted to try making one. It didn't really do well. The box office, you know, it's a, it's a pretty good, decent film. But it didn't do well box office wise, so they're probably not going to give him a big project again. It's just, oh, look, the lighthouse is moving. You know what that means? Let's see what it looks like at night. <laughs> now look at that. Hold on. I'll do something. Just, just bear with me a second. Need to add to the atmosphere. You can hear my plane. I'll turn this up. Oh, no, 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 no. I was hoping there wouldn't be music there. Okay. Oh, can we just have one sound? Um, how about that one? Oh, come on, YouTube. Light lighting up my plane as it rotates. You can just see my plane up there. Look at that. If this is on the fly along, I'm just going to point this out to them. Okay, I need to add to the atmosphere here. Hang on. This is, I'm just going to do one more thing with the weather here. I wonder how it will look. Man, that's, that's fuel rich. That's fuel rich. Um, <laughs> Okay, um, how do, okay, can we get fog? <laughs> Where's fog? Over. Um, overcast, rain, snow, storm. Well, I'm guessing it. Um, okay, I'm just, I'm just trying to quote for overcast. Broken clouds, high level clouds. Is there low level clouds? Okay, um, maybe I'll put it on overcast and. Um, okay, I'll just set today. Okay, I don't know if I've done it. Okay, clear skies. How do we, okay, so how do we add fog? 
What if we make it snow? <laughs> put that okay, I think I'm making that go underground. That's what I'm doing there. Okay, I'm um, okay, clear it up, clear it up, clear it up, clear it up. So I'll do um, overcast. Okay, I, I think we got it. Um, okay, make it night time. What's the going? What the hell is he doing? Okay, can we just zoom out so it goes into the fog? It's foggy, right? Why is it just a fog option? <laughs> yes. Okay, that's that really adds to the atmos actually. <laughs> Shame the light isn't on. <laughs> okay, and enjoy the fog. Marker wasn't on the screen. That was a really good atmosphere. Um, okay, um, I'm actually doing this for YouTube. I, I might make a clip of that for YouTube or something, but without this tag at another time. Okay, so anyway. Turn the control pad off. Yeah, the, the light actually moves. It's nice when you see those little details. Oh, and of course, um, that sound effect you're hearing, that was from the movie, The, um, the Lighthouse. That's the foghorn from that movie. I, I thought it sounded very creepy. It also was with Silent Hill. Didn't Silent Hill use like a foghorn? <laughs> okay, I'll put it on full. Um, get in the cockpit. Because we might head straight, straight into those rocks there. Oops, that's long pause, but this pause, but <laughs> that's close. Okay, we're just going to look at these features here. We're just going to, just, we'll just I'll just follow the path I set, and then I'll land at this airport. Have a look around the airport because it's a uh, bespokey. It's a premium, a hand-built airport. And I'll put the stream today. Oh, boss man's here. It's the big boss man. <laughs> yeah, so that's a wrestler. That, that one of my favourite wrestlers when I was a kid was the big boss man. He dressed up as a I thought he dressed up as a policeman at first, but he was actually a prison guard. <laughs> he wore like the, the like a, it looked like a blue police uniform, but it was actually a prison guard uniform. Sold off as a bad a bad a baddie, a heel, took on Hulk Hogan, but then he became well, he, he became like one of the, a good, the good guys, and he was quite popular. But he after a stint in WCW, he came back to WWF WWE in the late nineties as a bad guy to take on, to um, join Vince McMahon on his war against Stone Cold Steve Austin. Became like a mercenary type, and he was still pretty cool. Yeah, he died, one of the few, one of those wrestlers that died young, it was a shame, because he, he, he was quite mobile for a big guy too. You should look up his matches if you can.
If I was making a, one of those OSW type boy stables, he'll definitely be in it. <laughs> I'm going to probably turn off that landing light for now. Oh, look at those pretty floor mats there. I might have to steal them. <laughs> How's the fuel consumption in this thing? Going down. I'm going to make sure I switch over to the right. Man. Right. I don't think I'll need to on this one, but... Yeah, there's only two liveries to this plane, the default and this one. I thought it was just plain white, so I looked over the wings. It's got like this formal arrangement on the wings here. But, you know what this um, livery reminds me of? Um, fellow streamer Starflies. It reminds me of Starflies' stream. It's like a livery she would... But the, more the purple, but maybe not the floral, the floral stuff, but the purple definitely reminds me of Starflies' stream. Also, so we're heading to Meng Les Dalstinton. <laughs> yeah, pure eyes are on, yeah. I thought maybe those, like, those rocks out there would be pure armor than not. I don't know, I might just make a clip of that White House clip. Uh, I'm here to do it for me, so create clip. Oops. How far back? Am I too far forward? Excuse me, just excuse me, I'm just trying to make a clip. <laughs> uh, I think I'm too late. Um, I, I should have done it when I had the chip. I can go through the rod and make it later though, I guess. Too far forward, I should have made the clip balls back there. So I might go through the vault a bit later. And then make a make a clip <laughs> of the of the lighthouse. Oops, pause. Dirty windows here. You see the wings out there. Some passenger seatings. Oh, but the main thing. Does this get my tick of approval, this plane? Does it have a cup holder? <laughs> Unfortunately, this plane does not have a cup holder, so I cannot recommend this plane. <laughs> There's a little basket thing there. Maybe that, maybe that it's it. It folds out. Or there might be one under lift if you lift it up, but it's not lift up. You can't lift it up. But no, 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 no cup holder. It's a file. <laughs> 
Well, pilots need pilots need their beverages. <laughs> the thirsty boys and girl and gals. I don't think this fan thing works. Oh, t over speed. So. <laughs> So, there's some aircon in here. <laughs> Don't elite the fuel. <laughs> That's what my dad would say. I've got some airflow in here. I think it's just cosmetic oil. Probably just cosmetic though. So I'll look at the fuel again. How how could this go for the fuel? It gets to about four number five. I'll change tanks. Oh sheer cannons in a helicopter. Nice oh, area been in this area before the North Europe update. I think this will be improved to some better texture mappings. I mean, maybe it was part of the Nordic update that came out a year or so ago. And they've just done some improvements with the North Europe world update. And speaking of world updates, you know some the, the MSFS Flight Sim YouTube channel has been uploading trailers for the past ones for some reason. I don't know why they're doing that. A, a reminder that they're there. <laughs> to remind people that they're there or something. Or did they accidentally delete the previous ones and it's pulling them back up? Yeah, and with the last update, there's some other updates for the previous world updates. Apparently they fixed um, some ones in Canada, including the CN Tower in Toronto. It doesn't look like it's got a tumour and it's got growth coming out the side of it anymore. I haven't, I haven't seen it yet. Time is rich. No, better not. Um, I said I was going to do that the other day, but I didn't go around to it. Let's out the autopilot then. Okay. So I'm just going to test the autopilot out. Where was it? Engaging autopilot. Okay. Heading on. Look up. I don't know if the, the altitude is on. Um, Why are we turning? Oh, uh, uh, yeah, it's a heading. Um, zero, zero, 004. No, no, zero, zero, 004. Okay, I'm turning all the pilot off. I'm off. Okay, so um, I'll probably use, if I'm doing a proper point-to-point -point flight, like an IFR or a VOR, I'll probably use it. But since I'm heading to these waypoints, um, I, I noticed that it was moving probably towards the airport or something, or two points ahead or something like that, and not to the some GPS route I set up. So if I put the heading on up two three zero there, I don't know how the altitude one works. It was um, do I set the altitude and I push it, or is there a hold button there? I don't really see one. Oh, there it is. There it is, right there. The altitude hold. Yeah, it's the altitude hold right there.
There's this cheeky little magpie lark eating the cat's food. He's eating the cat's crunchies. Funny around here, um, there's um, a magpie and a magpie lark. I think they are. They could be friends or something, or they could be enemies. They're always, they're always at each other, always flying with each other, and always chasing each other. <laughs> Cartoon about it. Magpie and the lark. <laughs> Maggie and the lark. <laughs> I'm soon to Nickelodeon. Oh, look at that scenery. Yeah. I should have been. I should have got. When I did that lighthouse thing, I should have got moved this marker and the ATC window up there. Wish I could get a key binding to get rid of these. It's, you can't get rid, of, get rid of them in the menu. You go to the menu, but um, unlike, say, the um, other aircraft, see where sheer cannon is, I can set a key binding, see? On, off, on, off, on. <laughs> but for these waypoints, it would be nice if I can get rid of them. Particularly during landings, because um, the marker pretty much blocks the view of the runway sometimes, depending on the size of the runway. Because when you lined up the runway, you probably don't need that rate from the anymore. There probably is, but I don't know. I don't know what it's got. I did Google searches. So is there a key, a key binding for waypoints or markers? I don't. I, I just can't find a way to do it. But it'd be nice if there was. I can. If anyone knows then um, if there's a key bind if can set a key binding for waypoints and get this marker like we're heading to now, Meg Meng, thirteen miles. Please let me know in the comments if you're watching on YouTube or um send me a message on Twitch if you um So I'd like to be able to just get rid of them. But um so, but um Yeah, you know, I'm thinking of doing a flight without them, but when you get to the approach stages they um, the approach doesn't match the the, the um, thing, the maps or the, the CRS codes or the heading codes and things. You have to go by the radio <laughs> or numbers. But yeah, but the markers make it easier for approaches and departures. But well, you know, what's it cruising and coming into land? You probably don't need them. So, but nice if there's a quick way to remove them and bring them up if you get a bit lost. I mean, these markers and assistance things are not in like um, the general menu, like um, the, the name tags over here. Oh, you know what the great man said? It's an adequate day for fly. <laughs> yeah, I want 75 followers. Awesome, 74. Yeah, I mean, like just yesterday, and there's no um, I haven't seen going to my activity feed. There's no new followers, so. Was someone I guess was someone suspended or something? <laughs> was one of my got a Twitch suspension or a, a, a non-permanent ban? <laughs> no. Well, thank you, whoever that was that followed, or <laughs> if it was. Can you follow someone unanimous, unanimously? I guess if they don't mind the known chat, it remains unanimous. Maybe they don't want their names spread out, so yeah. Thank you to, if, if you're the right to remain unanimous, um, I'll, I'll respect that. Fa thank you for the follow, if that was you. Oh, 
out of this area. Yeah, we're put, put into this area. We're in the fjords, aren't we? <laughs> Just gonna go to this way point and then head head north towards the airport. Okay, there's a flap something we need to get some elevation. <laughs> Not far from the turning point anyway. Let's check it out. Anyway, I wanted to get a short stream in because I've got the place to myself for a couple of hours. Um, I need to do some things though still today. I can't just do quite some all day. <laughs> Plus, uh, another stream. I, I want to get the, this stream done before um, one of my favourite streams is a, does a stream Sundays and I didn't want to catch them. And if I was hoping to maybe even raid him, but there's no work at the moment, so it looks like it's not going to happen. Anyway, he's. Stream's been delayed a bit, so um, I can, yeah, I can sort of take my time coming in if I want to. <laughs> I have to rush it. Look at that big light. Yeah, I think we've been here in the fly long before. It looks familiar. It looks pretty good still. I might have improved it with the, the update. I wonder if they got the big swords monument. There's a big swords, it's like three sword, three giant swords, or what they dug into the ground off the coast. You know, like Viking swords. I think that might, might be closer to Oslo. Or could actually be in Sweden, but, but I think it's in Norway somewhere. Now we're turning around here. Enjoy this. I looked up in a sec. The, the giants, the giant, the Norway swords. <laughs> Approach. Why not? <laughs> the other pollen, I guess, but that's yeah, so all right. <laughs> Okay, I'd say, um, Norway, giant swords. Here they are, um, the three, okay, that's thread, thread, fell, that's a Wikipedia page for them, but I'll read the brief description. The three bronze swords stand 10 meters tall, and I planted into the rock to a small, Fill next to the fjord. It's third. It's third fjord. I don't know if they're in the sim. I can do a quickie look up. If they were there, there'll be a POI on them. Then I'll look a bit. But I'll look a bit like um. They commemorate the history battle of Hafsford, Hafsford, which took place there in the year 18. Eight, no, not eight, 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 seventy-two. Where King Harold Fairhair gathered all Norway under one crown. So yeah, once I've done this flight, um, there's a beach down there. Yeah, I'm gonna tell. Is this one of those countries where they, you know, don't wear bathing suits? <laughs> no, 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 I don't have anything against that. I might see some pretty Norway people. <laughs> so yeah, um, looks like it's not near here though, the swords. If I thought it was not, I'd be in this area. I don't know, I was just gonna, I was just call, uh, 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 was just... They might have been added in the world update. I didn't see them in the trailer though, so I doubt it though. Oh, I want the big swords, copy. In this. 
Okay, um, let's go to Google Earth. <laughs> See if they're on the, 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 big, the big old, big ass shorts. A bunch of names I cannot possibly pronounce. <laughs> okay. And I'll paste. Fred and Fledge. <laughs> okay, so zoom out. And yeah, it's not on my area, it's right near the, the towards the southern tip of Nor Norway. Well, um, I'll keep the map open. Uh, they, they could be there if, if, I, if I hover over. Uh, I'll finish this flight after looking around the airport some. I'll go to the map screen and see if um, there's a POI for them. If there isn't, oh, I'll, 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 I guess I'll do it for the stream. Oh, look at Sand Bolton. Oh, I can go quickly fly around Toronto in the helicopter. See, see, see if they fixed it. What's that? F fog. Fog Hucken. Be careful pronouncing that one. <laughs> fog Hucken. Sand Bofin. Look how warm it gets out here in the summer. These beaches are really nice. Okay, well, I think we're heading to the airport now. Is it the airport? Yep, the airport. How far? How far? Yeah, so this far. Let's see if the, the Sred are Felge. I'm guessing that the Sred is Norwegian for sword. It's like three swords, big swords dug into the ground. Like something from Excalibur. <laughs> okay, we're less than 10 miles from where we we're heading. What was it, one? Was it hell? Or we we're going to hell? I think we're heading to Gredson. Um. I can't see the full title of my screen. Um, an elk. An elk. <laughs> oh, oh, links. Links. That's what it is. Uh, we'll come straight in if we can. We have 84084. Okay, we'll go to 02 then. Echo November Lima Kilo. Traffic Lappy 5. For 9 or miles west. 4,100 feet. Oh, put your seatbelts in full. Oh, where's the uh, landing lights? Okay. <laughs> well, the stream's been well worse than that, John. 48 minutes. Yeah, we'll go around here. I'll, I'll look around the airport if I'll, if I'll go. Ever since finding that, um, that, that fishbowl in at the, uh, at the airport in New Zealand and the little Easter eggs at that um, Danish airport, I'm always like to send a drone around at the premium of airport, especially the ones that are in the world updates, and particularly the small ones, to see if there's any like fun little Easter eggs or something in there. So uh, I have to do a look around the airport. Um, we're going to see if um, the, the swords, the, Nor the Norway swords, are in. Doubt it though. I didn't see them in any trailers or anything, but they could be. Um, could be. You know, they could have it. They could have been um, in you know, like in the original sim, the original sim when it came out. Because there's a there's one of you flying around. Is it Denmark? Yeah, Denmark. And there's a statues looking out to sea. That they're they're there because that's one of the bush trips takes you near them. I don't know about these swords. That's a ten foot. And the swords are near a town called 
Stav- Stavanger. Stav- Stavanger? 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 It's on the, the on the coast, heading towards the south end of Norway. It's on the, about the southwest coast, sort of thing. That was a big Viking battle or something there. <laughs> like the Battle of Trafalgar, maybe. <laughs> I should have done the full way in, it would quite scenic. It's very, very nice around here. I don't know if there's any native. Ooh, ooh. I'll close that down. Oh, too slow, too slow. It flaps up a bit. Yeah. Not too fast, lower the flaps. <laughs> Still too fast. I so bet oh, will the swords be in the sim? Because it's weird what they pick for landmarks and what they don't, and POIs. Like that asteroid crater in Arizona. It is in the sim, but there's no POI on it. It's there. Just check my Route 66 rod from the other day. Remember how. They can't be that hard to make some. They, they could just take assets from another game and just place them there. <laughs> Do what that guy that made the um, Tokyo pack of the Godzilla just take a asset from a mobile game and put it on the roof of a building. I'm pretty sure that's what they did to make that go put that Godzilla at the top of the building. It's not even the right Godzilla. I know I keep saying it. It is the wrong Godzilla. Swinging a Godzilla. I'm happy to, I was happy to find out that Godzilla Minus One is getting some Australian screening, so I'll get to, get to see that one in the cinema. I'm looking forward to that one. And what was the last film I saw in the cinema? I think, oh, oh Spider Man. I took my nephew, to, I took my niece and nephew to see um, Spider Man Across the Spider Verse. That was a pretty good film. Kids, kids loved it. <laughs> Yeah, um, yeah, um, it's, I try and see every Godzilla film at the cinema that I can, even if they're bad. <laughs> and it's very rare the Toho films get screenings. So, the uh, yeah, the only other one that got cinema screenings in Australia was Shin Godzilla. I'm sure the older ones got screenings at some point, but they're just maybe more urban, uh, more arty cinemas or something. They just show them more retro cinemas, and they're just too far away from here. Okay, coming into land now. Stop. Oh, it's very windy. Look at that wind sock. It's fully erect. <laughs> oh, we'll miss that taxiway. Oh, that's a full, full featured airport here. I don't think I've, I've not been to this one. Not, not. This one's not looking familiar to me. Okay. Echo November Lima Kilo traffic Lappy five four is clear of the runway. Lappy, um yeah, Lapland, um also reminds me of a strong bad computer of the Lappy three eight six. Okay, where, where can we park? Where can we park this bird? Um, there's a lot of people around here. Yeah. Okay, um, I guess we'll just um, we'll park at number two over here. I wonder if I have a full shutdown mode. It looks like, the, oh, it looks like a, a good place to explore in the drone. Let's park here. 
fucking drag it on. Okay, let's shut down the plane. Does it have a shutdown options? Not just starting engine. Okay, um. Okay, where the switches. Um, it's a prop lever. There we go. Yeah, just a 36 minute flight. Continue. We're going to look. And, um, might as well turn it, turn it off. There we go. There we go. Nice little bird, this one. I should fly this plane more often. Go for the next Route 66. Joint part. Oh, pretty flowers on the wings. <laughs> oh, those propellers, nice. Okay, no, no, let's go for a look. Let's go for a spore around the airport now. That's still near the lighthouse, is it? <laughs> no. Okay, I'll increase the speed of it a bit. I don't forgot to do that. Um, I'll just put it on. 93. Oh, control pad's not turned on. <laughs> What's going on? Oh, it's not on. Okay, so where's the road leading up to the airport? We'll start there. Oh, where's the road leading up to the airport? <laughs> do, 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 do. Oh, what's that? Oh, parking barriers sort of thing. That sign say there. Oh, it's a Norwegian, but I think it's forbidden. <laughs> no, you. <laughs> so, the oh, lots of things in there. Well, that's inside. Sometimes they let you in, sometimes they don't. Oh, we're inside. Good. Oh, it's a weather map. <laughs> Probably not live. <laughs> Car rental desk. Some check-ins and things here. Um, yeah, the runway doesn't look big enough for an airline, but maybe some maybe King Airs and some biz jets maybe can, can come here. Okay, there's the waiting area. I think I just got a screenshot and put it up there. <laughs> I can't go in the bathrooms. I was going into the gents, don't worry. <laughs> oh, what's in here? Huh? There's like some vehicles in there. I guess I can't go inside. It must be just through vehicle storage. V Welcome to Lothrotten. Burden. So what's it? Uh, some, I can see some luggage carousels. And there's another cart in there. Can I go inside the tower? I think I'm right near the window here. Oh, we can go inside the tower. Oh, someone's. Someone, oh, it's a map. There's a dining it. I think a little um, 
break a, 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 a break area. Oh, the, that's the, the lights on that fire truck are flashing. There's no fire around here, is there? Oh, yeah, buddy, where's the fire? <laughs> I don't know what that guy's doing. Is he maybe taking a taking a little break? <laughs> So near the fuel canister. Uh, shouldn't be, you probably shouldn't be smoking there, mate. <laughs> Maybe that's why that fire truck has its lights on. It's unprepared. <laughs> Lofton Flight. It's a flight club, <laughs> I guess. Um, tractor and... Uh, don't know what's on the trailer there. Oh, this is it's another light, a lighthouse. What's this thing here? A light? Is some, oh, there's a, a wind, a wind speed, ga wind speed gauge. Oh, it's got. It's, there's also something rotating there. It's moving. What is this? What do, what, what, what do you think this thing is here? I think that. Um, the, 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 the one of the fives, because I think that's a camera. That could be a camera. And I'm guessing it maybe it's some sort of weather gauge, a weather station. So, okay, um, I'll come back to that in a sec. I'm just going to see if there's anything else. Uh, that's about it. Huh? So let's, let's have a look at it at night time. Maybe it lights up. No, oh, it's gated off, this thing. Maybe it's not the party yet. Oh, it's, a, it's leading to a runway. I'm guessing it. I'm, if I had to guess, it's some sort of weather station. Good night. No, no lights up here. Hmm. Runway's very dark too. <laughs> some lights here. Okay, I'm not that all. Okay, we're on that little journey there. That was an interesting looking airport. Now, before we go, um, let's see if the um, let's see if the swords are there. We need to look for a town called Stavanger. I don't know, I'll just fly a helicopter or something there. Um. I don't, I don't want to enter the menu, so I'll probably head somewhere for the goodbyes. Um, okay, Stavanger. There it is. Sta Could it be? Ah, oh, it's a stadium. No, I thought that could have been, that's, just, oh, that's obviously a stadium, yeah. According to uh, Google Earth, the things are over here. It's over here where the swords are. Oh, it doesn't look like they're there. Okay, but, okay. We'll go see. Yeah, we'll, then we'll just like land at the nearby airport. I don't think they're going to be there though. There's no POIs for them. I just don't want to end the, end the stream at the menu. <laughs> that way I can keep the Norway tags on the screen. <laughs> Approach 
the airspace. Lappy 5 4 solo approach. Clear through the Charlie airspace. Okay. I saw Viking there, but oh, the, 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 no, it's the stadium. The, the Viking got my hopes up. Okay, here's the stadium. Uh, I guess they play um, football there. I'm, I'm not, I don't usually see um, Norway in the World Cup or anything. Well, obviously, that's a soccer stadium, it's a soccer layout. And the swords are over here. Oh, sorry, sorry. I'm just gonna clear the level up just for this, just for this. Surprised they didn't add the swords. How hard would it be to make graphics of four, three swords? So apparently there's a big Viking battle in here, in history. If I was friend when I have all this of facts and stuff here. But I don't, I don't, I'm not nearly as talented as he is. <laughs> okay, pause. I mean, obviously not here. Let me just throw up Google Earth again. See where this bunch of trees are here? That's where the swords are, IRL. Because I'm near, near this little beach here. But in 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 this group of trees over here is um, the spread of fish. <laughs> the swords, pretty much. Um, yeah. I got I think I got the wicked pit. I'll just put I'll just put a link to them uh, in the in the chat. There we go. There's a link to the, them. You can see the behind. See if you can see the. That's a bit more clear. Look at the area. I can see probably that's the, they're the swords there. See these three dots there. I'm guessing they're the swords. You see the shadow of them on the on on. on. Well, they're, 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 that's that'll be them there. That's the shadows of them. On Google Earth, you can see the shadows of them if you zoom right in. And see the parking area. So you see these three dark marks. That's the shadows of the swords there. Anyway, um, I sort of land at the nearby airport. Go to the nearest. Sola Tower Lappy 5 4 is 5 miles north, 200 feet with Yankee. So I'll head south. Lappy 5 4 Sola Tower. Altimeter 29 or decimal 9 or 2. When calm, make left traffic runway 28. Make left traffic runway 28 Lappy 5 4. Landing light on? Oh, I've got all the, I came in already in the air for this one. <laughs> this 
doesn't. Wouldn't it be that much diff that difficult to make some uh, that like, sword monument? That <laughs> I'm not zooming on the map. I saw Viking. Oh, oh god, they must they must have them. No, it's just a stadium. <laughs> just a football stadium. <laughs> oh wells. Okay, I'm just, my death perception is off. Okay, I have to head out this way. That's like a major airport too. Oh, it's like a dig site down there. Could be near gymnasium, school. Oh, Norway looks so beautiful. Probably get those swords in a, um, a, a payware or maybe even a freeware pack. I can't really get the freeware because I'm on console. I think I know the add-ons I can get other ones in the marketplace, unfortunately. And I don't, they rarely get freeware in the marketplace, if ever. There is a Garmin add-on or something like that. And there's like scenery ones for existing what, but you need the existing payware, which I don't have. And that um that hospital plane that doesn't fly. And just really look around it. <laughs> Alright, well as soon as I land here and get it parked and shut down again, I'll just do the same thing I did last time, just turn everything off. <laughs> and I'll be here for the stream today. Yeah, uh, another quick little fun one, just over an hour. I was going to add this airport to the list of airports I've landed at. Oh, that plane's taxiing. I thought that was. I thought that had ta uh, um, Yeah, I have tags on. I don't know why that doesn't have a tag on it. Oops, bouncy, bouncy. I wasn't really paying attention there. I don't know why that moving plane didn't have a, a tag on it. It might be a, an unlisted flight. I could have turned there, but. I'm not really going to count that landing as a landing. <laughs> I wonder how many times serious pilots have had that surely you can't be serious stroke. <laughs> Solar ground Lappy 5 for request taxi to parking. Lappy 5 for taxi to general aviation parking using taxiway hotel. Don't have taxi lights, I'll just leave the landing light on. Using taxiway hotel Oh god. Hang on, I'll just put, uh, put life over back on. Nope. <laughs> and before I go, I'm watching YouTube last night. Techline has an interesting video called Little, On Little Jammers. It's these little figures that play music for this speaker. Yeah seen Squid Game, you've probably seen a little jammer set in that. It ends in an episode ends in them playing. Ooh, really cute and fun. They're very expensive collectibles, so. Uh, so check out Tech Mode, which will be his latest video. T E T E T E C H Moan M O N A N. 
English guy, English English chap that does tech reviews. But oh, let's shut her down. Yeah, let's get the landing counted. <laughs> okay, and turn the ignition off. Okay, and that will do it for today. Um, thanks for watching, lurking. Um, I don't know, I didn't do a sound reset. Oh, good, it sounds fine. Um, keep an eye out for the VOD on um YouTube, and um, thanks for watching the VOD if you watch the VOD and. All that stuff, um, I'll be ending the stream now. Back tomorrow with an airline flight somewhere, maybe. Um, I'll probably be joining Sim C's as fly along. I won't be in the voice chat for that though. But anyway, um, see you around and keep watching the skies. Good night.